Hey everybody, today we have a viewer question that we're going to go ahead and answer. And here's the comment real quick of what he's asking. Alright, so this viewer asks if I can slightly lift the hammer and let it drop on the cap to see if it set it off. You know, before half cock and all that stuff and everything. He also want me to see, in this section right here, that if the hammer is resting on the cap, and then I bump the back of it with a hammer, palm my hand, or something like that, to see if it will also set it off. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if that stuff sets off the cap. Before we go to the testing phase of this video, I'm going to talk real quick about hoisters. This is my first one from Cabela's um, that I got when I actually purchased a firearm. And this one is no good for safety. You got this strap right here that holds the firearm in place. But it goes around the trigger guard. It does not go around the hammer. If you're going through heavy brush or anything like that, anything that just might flutely catch the hammer, look how far this can go back. In fact, if you get poor real good, it can go half cock and it can go full cock. To me, that's a huge safety issue. So let's go ahead and check out my other holsters. So this is my cross draw from Historical Imperium and this leather strap right here goes around the hammer. And as you can tell, I mean it goes up a little bit. I can do it tighter but then it would be more difficult to get it off to draw. Um, but there's no way you're going to go full cock with this. And it also holds the gun in place. So this is why I have this hoister and plus I just prefer black because with my job and everything like that I wear black boots so all I got is black boots. Brown and black don't really match, having all black does. And let's go ahead and check out the hoister that I have for my pocket police. So same deal with the pocket police is I have this strap, it's still going underneath like the one from Cabela's, it goes over the hammer. So it's the same deal. This can barely go up. There's no way you're going to go half cock, full cock. It barely goes up enough to where I don't even think the cylinder can ever move inside. And that's why I have the hoisters that I have, like I say, purely safety issue. So let's go ahead and go down the garage and see if we can set these caps off. Alright we're going to see where half cock is. Right there. Got it on the safety. So you can see even this high you know the cylinder moves and it's not half cock. Try and get it right before it reaches half cock. That seems right. See where we're at. Try again. There's a addition on the cap, but it didn't go off. This is a case it was seated. Let's try again. Nope. Try another one. Ah. Keep going half cock. <laughs> nope. All right, round two is sitting on a cap.
Now, I'm not going to do it, but maybe with a solid hammer, maybe it would go off, but I also don't want to mess up my hammer. <laughs> so, it looked like to me that that's not really a thing, because, I mean, there are percussion caps. Alright, to make sure these are does, we're going to go ahead and set them off. Last one. So what did we learn today? So we learned that right before half cock or whatnot, when you let the hammer go, it's just not powerful enough to set off a percussion cap. And also, if the hammer is already resting on the percussion cap, the force that is going to put on it is not going to set it off. Now with that being said, I do not recommend having the hammer itself actually on the percussion cap. Because you don't know if it get caught in something and just go back a little bit, if it was caught on, put enough force to set off the percussion cap, and then you got a bullet in your leg foot, groin, head, whatever. So don't do it. There's a reason why on competition, there's a reason why when you compete with this, with six shots, you're only allowed to load five. It's because you are going to have it resting on an empty nipple. And there's probably a story or something, some type of fluke or whatnot, that someone had it on the safety, and somehow it got moved over, got caught on something, and set it off. Or maybe it never did happen, and they just want to be super safe. But that is it today, and thank you for your questions and everything like that. If any of y'all come up with another question, feel free to ask. I'm going to do my best to try to put in video. So that is it today. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you at the range.